Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Medieval Dynasty. Here we are in our snug little home. Uh, it looks like early, early morning. The gray hours just before the sun comes up and it's all misty outside. Hang on, let's take a look. Oh yeah, this is really cool. Look at this. I love this, this, the effects. This is really well done. Look at that. Oh, you can even see, is, is there like a wind? Look at that. Oh, cool. All right, so here's what we're going to do. So here's the plan, or here's what uh, uh, has happened overnight. Uh, I didn't sleep, but basically what I did is I... No, don't do that. Uh, I did go out and get... Mm, yeah, there we go. Uh, a couple of hundred berries, <laughs> right? Berries. Uh, we could sell those in town. Um, we got St. John's Wort. We got some Broadleaf Plantain. Uh, and, and then I've got a few flatbread and morels and roasted meat on me for my own food consumption so there we go that's kind of cool um but i'm gonna be yeah i'm gonna sell some of this stuff i looked at sticks and sticks the thing about sticks is that they weigh like uh, 156 sticks weighs 15.6 whereas if you take a look in here 200 berries weighs 10.15 and they, they these cost a dollar and the sticks cost a dollar so really you know you can carry a lot more unripe berries for sale so i i'm just you know i'm I, i'm trying not to min max too much but it, it makes sense to me now uh i have some flatbread i've got some oat rolls uh, stored away and some dried meat i put the dried preserved things oh there's some unripe berries here we got to there we go. Transfer those over. Um, got some rocks, some sticks, and some straw that we've stored away. And then the... So the rest I'm going to sell. And then I think we have uh, over here... I think I just... Did I just... Wait a minute. No, did I dump them? Ah, yes. I dumped the logs right here. So they were rolling around. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, they're going to roll into the lake. So I basically dropped them uh, here so that they just roll right into the house and then they're not going to go anywhere. Uh, all right, now... <clears throat> uh, let's see, what else should we take care of before we get to, uh, on to today's business? Skills. Uh, so I have a, uh, a, some extraction knowledge. Here's some, what is this? This is the, yeah, extraction. I guess, oh, I thought that was mining, but I guess it's more than mining. It's wood cutting and, okay, okay. Extraction knowledge. Uh, for, uh, plus one more skill point from extraction activities. I think I will, I will purchase that. And then basically that should give me more oomph for what I do. That's my understanding of how it works, at least. Uh, and I have another point in survival knowledge. Uh, we might just pump another point into the uh, into survival knowledge in general. Um, I mean, like I could put, you know, strong as an oak, 10% more health, but... I don't think I'm going to run into that yet. We haven't, we're not going after any dangerous situations. Apparently there are bandits coming eventually, but not yet. And then I'm not really going after big game yet. So, um, I think I'm good there. Survivalist, uh, 10%. Oh, that's kind of a good one. Slower loss of food and water. Uh, fishing. I, th I don't think fishing works yet, but I'm not really sure. That's what I've heard. Um, iron liver, uh, poison resistance, in insensitive to temperatures. I think for now, my best bang for the buck is just to crank up some points. So that's what we're going to do. There we go. And look at that. It's even more. Oh, look at that. My, um, <laughs> the door is even, yeah, is <laughs> it was still swinging. I guess time stands still while I'm in the menu. That's good to know. All right. So what I was going to do is I was going to go into town I thought we'd do a little bit of exploring. Oh, before we do that, let's take a look at our inventory and make sure. Let's see what what we're dealing with here. Uh, actually, oh, I can see it in the lower left-hand corner. My stone axe is almost dead. My wooden hammer is still good, and my spears are. Well, I've got a bunch of them, but they're. I've got four, but uh, most of them are at sixty-six percent health. So, I think we'll be fine for some light-duty stuff. But I should probably make another uh, stone axe. So. Let's see, how would I do it? How, what, what is a stone axe again? Um, here it is, right here. Uh, I need sticks and two rocks. Okay, I need one more rock and a bunch of sticks. Okay, well, let's let's just get this on the way to... Uh, there we go. We're going to get these on the way to, to town. No. Oh, someone said the sticks that are like bundles of sticks on the ground, like, like this right here. Let's see, how many sticks do I get when I pick this up? 
one stick. Okay. But the thing is, there's no delay. See this? It's just, I just tap E, and there it is. I pick it up. So you could just basically go over here into the bushes and just... Right? It's super quick. So I think this is very efficient. Uh, of course, you know, clearing brush like all this stuff over here is useful too. So we might... But you have to hold down for that. See, bir birch branches, you gotta... There's a little bit of a time delay there. Uh, I also noticed because I I was gathering berries and plantain, like a bunch of stuff in the dark. I was using the, my sixth sense, my my second sight to try to, you know, to help me with gathering stuff in the middle of the night. And I noticed that some of the plants don't require, uh, they, they instantly get picked up as well. Some of the plants, oh, oh, ha <laughs> ha. More survival knowledge. Oh, I'm actually, yeah, I can feel myself getting heavy. Okay, uh, let's, let's make a, let's make our axe. There we go. Actually, you know what? Let me just check something. So, uh, the stone axe is, it's only, oh, it's 40 gold, uh, 40 coins or 40 gold pieces or whatever it is, 40 units of, of, it's not bad actually. And my crappy axe is worth, oh. I don't know how, how I feel about selling slightly broken stuff. Oh, yeah, I'm slow as heck. Oh, yeah, let's uh, let's take a look at our skills. So I've got more in survival. Um, I could just simply max out my survival knowledge, which means that I'll get three skill points from every from survival activities. I might just do that. There we go. Now we've maxed out that, that tier. That Oh, I'm slow now. Can I just do something with these sticks and then maybe craft and... Is there anything I can craft? What do I need for you? Uh, more on a. Oh, what is that up in the hill? I saw movement. Oh. Oh. Sometimes the, this dude's footsteps, they come at you as if they're off in the distance. I just want to see what that is. I don't necessarily want to. Oh, it's a pig! Oh, that's not a pig. That's a boar. Okay. Uh, boars are notorious in, in, uh, in medieval times here. Oh, by the way, let's make our uh, skinning knife. Just to... There we go. Am I moving faster? I am! Ha <laughs> ha! Can I make anything else? I cannot! Ha <laughs> ha! Let's move. <laughs> we'll sell some of this stuff as we go. Uh, I'll get into pigs eventually, but... Uh, pi uh, or boars. Um... They're, they're, they were considered extremely dangerous. I mean, they're still considered extremely dangerous. I think they used to they, they used to uh, run at people, and they they had like you know angry tusks and things, and they had a special thing called a boar spear, which uh, uh, was how you hunted for them. And you, you actually would set the spear in the in the ground, and then angle it towards the the boar, and the boar would run into it, and it had a big crossbar on it to prevent the boar from running all the way up the spear. Yeah. Brutal, right? <laughs> I'm by. I'm not an expert, by the way. I just remember that from a book. Oh, Adelina, who are you? Oh, you seem like a nice lady. Show me your wares. Okay, so she sells seeds. She sells seeds by the seashore. The seed shore. Oh, we maybe we could sell her all of our uh, unripe berries. Maybe because they're seed-like. Not really, but you know, I think it makes sense. Um. There we go. And then that'll give us, th we've got 302 coins. And, you know, maybe she likes medicinal things too. So we could give her some of our uh, our St. John's wort. I'm going to keep, uh, you know, some of it, of course, for my own personal use if I need it. And the broadleaf plantain. Um, I'm going to keep, uh, what, let's see, 10 for my own personal use. I think that's that'll be good. There we go. And now we've got 518 coins. That's pretty good. But she's got she's down to 517. I assume that. Um, hey, do you have a minute? Um, hey, I recently got into hunting. Got any tips? Yeah, I, I did recently get into hunting. Sorry, I don't know much about it. Oh, approval. Oh, she gave me approval. Oh, but what I what I <laughs> what would I do to get some venison? So tasty. Sorry, what were we talking about? <laughs> she likes venison. Okay. Um, hey, do you have a minute? Have you seen that noble? Have you pat heard any gossip? No, no, I'm not interested in that. Uh, okay, I'll go now. We'll leave her alone. 
Um, now, my understanding is Rasimir, my character, he is 18, and eventually he's going to be looking for a mate. Now, while Adelina here, she is absolutely lovely, and she is, but she is 35, and so um, that's a little awkward. <laughs> and I don't. I, so yeah, we're gonna move along from that. I mean, we've got who's this? This is. Oh, she looks very young. Hang on, how old is she? She's 16. No, 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 no. Nope. I know this is a different time, but uh, we do have standards. <laughs> we, I do have lines. I do not. <laughs> um. Oh right. Um. In. Oh wait a minute. Let's take a look. Hang on a sec. Let's um. I think there was a quest. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, up there, there's a quest. Here, let's actually look at the map. So, uh, oh, we can zoom in. Oh. We've got a question mark here and a, a thing bobber there. So there's a question mark. And the question mark, I'm assuming that it's um, Unigos. Let me take a look in my, using my second. Oh, look, he's got a... Look, he's got a thing about, and he sells stuff. Okay, you know what, uh, Rudolph? I'm, I have, I have important business. Please, please leave. No. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to be rude. I'll just do it over here, and then he can choose to talk to me if he wishes. See, he chose to talk to me. Uh, <clears throat> good to see you settling in, my boy. How is life treating you lately? Not too bad. I have my own house. I don't starve, and people start talking to me more and more. Uh, that's good. I hear you picked up a hunting habit. Hunting habit recently. I did. There's plenty of game in the woods. Is that a problem? No, on the contrary. We don't have any stupid laws around here that would reserve the game for noblemen. Oh, that's good to hear because that's considered poaching. That's what Robin Hood was. Uh, anyways, and you could do me a favor. Earn some goods. Oh, I'm listening. There is a fellow hunter of yours called Sambor living in the lodge on his own. He doesn't like me much, and he is a loner. But during his last visit to the tavern, he dropped some remarks about a band of wolves that could become a problem. Find out what he knows, and I will reward you. Okay, Sambor. All right. All right, let's talk to Sambor. Oh, Unigos story one. So I'm guessing that um, Unigos story. So a story usually means there's more than just the... Uh, the one story. So hang on. Let me take a look at what we've got. I'm going to hold on to my spare stone knife because I do have... Uh, oh, I did, oh, did I break my other knife? Well, I don't have a knife. I have two, but they're both 100%. Okay, we're going to leave those alone. And I'm going to keep my axe because I'm, I need an axe anyways. And I have enough coin for now. Oh, but w let's pick up some food. Um, if I remember correctly, this is the food house right here. And the, the food lady. And she's very nice. Oh, but I can't pronounce her name. I'm just going to call her Yaro. Uh, hello, Yaro. How are you? Show me your wares. And uh, if you would be so kind as to sell me some flatbread, that would be lovely. Um, maybe three. Uh, you know, get a little food for the for the long haul. I think that's good enough. Yes. Yes. Um, no, I'll leave you alone. Okay, we'll, we'll chat another time. And we'll chat another time. Now, she's a people person. Uh, so I'm going to guess that she would be into gossiping, but I don't really know if that's true. All right. Now, let's take a look at our situation. Um, I need food, I believe. Uh, I am hungry. Yeah, I'm hungry and I'm thirsty. So uh, let's let's have some of our flatbread to eat. Um, we should be maxed out now. Pretty good. I can dig that. I should be eating the roast meat because it goes bad fast, but um, yes, yeah, silly me. Uh, and then I'll go and drink some water out of the river in a second. In the meantime, let's take a look at the map. Oh, no, let's take a look at our, is it journal? Let's set up. Now, this one we've already, we have to survive for a season, and we will get uh, 20 Dynasty reputation. Uh, apparently, that means surviving winter. I'm not sure. Uh, well, we'll just see how it goes. I'm not too worried about it. For now, this is in a standstill. So uh, once we survive a season, whatever that means, then we'll progress and we'll move on with the story. But for now, we've got a Unigos story. So uh, I think I settled uh, uh, settled in nicely. Life is good around here. The soil is rich and fertile. Maybe it's time to go to Unigost and talk about my future here. Perhaps he has some work for me. My first task from Unigost. The matter of these wolves seems serious. I'd better go to that. Uh, go to that. Go to. 
I'd better go to that Sambor hunter. Oh, that's kind of... Okay, I would say I would, I, I'd would. better go and see Sambor the hunter as soon as possible and find out more about them. Such wild animals are no joke. I agree, Sam. I agree, I agree. So we're going to talk to Sambor. I'm going to set that as my primary quest. And uh, let me see if, if... Is it on the map? What's this? I'm going to guess that that is... I'm going to guess that that is my current quest right there. So we're going to we're going to go. You know what? We'll use this as an opportunity to go through Borovo because we do want to go and visit Borovo anyways, right? And then we can um we could check it out. We haven't been over there yet. We've we've visited the uh um uh God uh, Gustovia. That's it. Gustovia enough. Yeah, I wonder how the water situation is. Oh, I was warned. <gasps> Oh, I'm absolutely filthy. Oh, oh. Hey, look, there's my house down at the end of the whatever this is. It looks like a lake, but it also looks kind of like a river. If I swim in the river, do I is can I wash myself? Oh. I'm just going to dunk. <laughs> Dude, I am a submarine. <laughs> I'm sneaking up. <laughs> it's like a like a SEAL team Ono. Oh <laughs> I don't think they spotted me. <laughs> All right, you know what? Before we go and visit these guys here, let's uh, let's accelerate things a little bit. I think we've messed around enough. Let's check out my cleanliness. If I'm going to go see Sambor, I should be presentable because, you know... Hey, look at that! I'm all clean. Nice. Oh. Ah, uh, yeah, St. John's Wort is one of the ones that you can pick up, like, super instantly. Morels, you can't. So... Uh, picking up St. John's Wort is super fast. Okay, let's take a look at what we're dealing with. This is Borovo. That's a nice little place. It's not as fancy as Gustovia, but I think Gustovia is like the sort of main town, and then there's like these other sub-little towns. Let's see what we got here. Oh, actually, let's use our special vision. Okay, we've got Melina and Ida as a salesperson, Dagmara, Falibor, Baldwina, Otto... Oh, oh, okay... Get your breath back. I know it's very exhausting using that. Uh, Zigbina, Bina, I can't say that one. Iwalda, Ivalda, something like that. Let's take a look. What if we, now you are, hang on a sec. You are a salesperson, yes. Hi, Ida, how you doing? Um, I want to tell you something beautiful. Am I, is that, I'm hitting on her? Well, she's kind of, she's like over double my age. That is... Different times, different times. <laughs> what is she? She sells eggs. Okay, she's an. She does um, uh, egg stuff. Okay, well, we'll just leave her alone. And who's this? This is Dagmara. Hey, Dagmara. Oh, you look a little. Oh, you're my age. Oh. Um. Hey, do you have a minute? I'm not going to tell you you're beautiful because that's that. that you... Okay, let's see if she's a gossipist. <gasps> she is. Oh, well, that's okay. Um, hey, do you have a minute? Nice weather we're having. Oh, wow. She's quite warm to me, isn't she? You know what? Okay, Dagmara, we're going we're gonna to leave you here. I'm going to just leave. That's it. There we go. We've, 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 we've set a foundation. <gasps> There's a wash tub. Can I use the wash tub? No. I don't think I can. We're, we've laid a foundation. Don't mess with it. You don't push too hard, too fast. You know, like, she's a lovely lady, but, you know, you don't want to be um, seemingly overly eager. Okay? Okay? Okay. Now, who do we have here? We've got um, uh, Lodomir, Inga, Ivalda, Volomir, Baldwina, Otto, and... Z I, I'm sorry, young lady. Or, actually, how old are you? For, no, 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 no. I'll say goodbye now. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay. Uh, now, you look like... How old are you? No. Okay. There's a lot of young people here. Uh, although, I'm curious about something. So... Oh, hey, look. Chicken. Oh, look at chick. Cheep, cheep, cheep. Cheep, cheep, cheep. <laughs> hey guys, how you doing? Hey, I have I have one of your friends. I, I I continuously rejuvenate back in my other world. 
Okay, um, let's see what we have here. We have Inga. Hey, Inga, how you doing? Oh, you're, oh, you're just about the right age. Um, hey, do you have a minute? Okay. I just got back from working in the field. Now, she's, she's working, looks like a working person. She is, she is a working person. There we go. And then, you know what? Um, hey, do you have a minute? Um, oh, recently got into hunting. You have any tips? Oh, yes. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry, I don't know much about it. Oh, but <laughs> what would I do to get some venison so tasty? Sorry, what were we talking about? I'm going to leave you alone for now. Oh. Okay, so this, I, I, I sort of, that's why I was looking around, because I'm establishing a dynasty. I'm going to need a lady, right? So uh, I thought maybe I'd sort of try and get familiar with the peoples. Um, not that familiar, though. A wife is necessary to ensure the survival of your dynasty. Exactly. Thanks to her, you will have an heir who, after reaching the right age, will continue your history, improve dynasty reputation, and develop the village. you That is the hope. Uh, your wife can also help you rethink your talents. Hmm, that's interesting. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, I wonder if that's a mechanic or just in general. And heal your wounds. Okay, that sounds like a mechanic. Remember to take care of not only yourself, but also of your whole family. Of course. If your wife is very dissatisfied with your actions, e.g. lack of shelter for a long time, food, or the possibility of warming up in winter, she may leave you and take her take the air with you. As is right. If I'm not... I have my end of the... Oh, don't step on the chicks. I have my end of the bargain, and I have to hold that up my end of the bargain. That's how that works. Okay, now, we are here. I want to go up and turn right, and then we'll take this path up there. Okay. You know what? Three. I just want to make sure that I got my spears at the re uh, at the ready. Oh, look! There's like fence lines and stuff here. Oh. No, we're getting distracted. Okay. I'm getting distracted. I don't want to get distracted. Okay. Now, if I remember correctly, I wanted to turn right. Let's let's go this way. Yes. 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 Do 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 This is a really is a lovely game. They've done a nice job. I think the map is um isn't proced it's it's not procedural, it's um it's a craft Okay, I think sometimes I hear things and I'm not sure what they are. It's because I look sideways sometimes like that and like that. And uh, the game seems to have a bit of an issue with uh, the the sound field when you do that. Why does it have survive for a season? Hang on a sec. I aren't I? Don't I have my um, Unighosts track quest? Oh, I had to do F. There we go. We have to talk to Sambor. Oh, hey, he's two hundred fifty. Cool. I didn't know about that. That's awesome. That is awesome. So he's, he's off in this direction. So we are on the right path. That little question mark was indeed the right place. Good to know. Oh, look at this. We're in, in a forest. <gasps> what is that? There's something running off in the... Oh, those look like foxes. Okay, okay. Let's just keep moving. There's a uh, water down here. Wait a minute. Let's look in the map. Are we lost? Oh no, we're headed. There is indeed uh, like little lakes and stuff up here. And I'm, I am, by the way, looking out for uh, places to build. This looks really cool. I wouldn't build here because it looks kind of. I know that they. Oh, what is that? Oh, those are pigs. <gasps> okay, we got to be careful. Those things will uh, they'll mess you up. Well, I think they'll mess you up. I don't have a good history with pigs in games. Uh, in Seven Days to Die, I've died to boars more often than uh, than I can count. Now, I'm guessing that this is... Hey, I'll bet you this is Sambor right here. <gasps> He's got a wash tub. Can I use it? No. Oh, no, no. Oh, I meant I hit F because of... Yeah, subsistence. Let's go talk to our, our new friend over here. Oh, this... 
Is that mud? Ooh, I need a shovel. Okay. What you doing there? He's actually hunting. Oh, that's cool. Look at the bow. <laughs> that's awesome. Hey, uh... Hang on, hang on. Let's talk to you. Okay. Uh, so, uh, who are you and what do you want? Okay, so he's he lives out in the middle of nowhere. So he might be a little... Um, well, there's... I'm not sure how to describe it, but... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Un... Uh, used to company. Okay, so I'm Rastamir, Lorden's nephew. I heard you have concerns regarding the wolves. Lorden. Uh, oh, I think they call them Jordan, but I'm going to call him Lorden. A great man, and it's a shame that we lost him. If you were only half the man he was, you might be worthy of my time. Oh, dear. Yeah, a little rough. A little rough around the edges. So what is it? Uh, so about the wolves. There are two packs that have grown too big uh, grown big too fast. One has crossed the plains between Ornica and Gostova, Gostovia. Uh, it is only a matter of time until they will be biting Unigost's rotten flesh. Oh, he's not a friend. Okay. Oh, look at this. <laughs> um, the other one is gathering around the lake in the south. I bet they will start coming to Denica soon. Okay. Shall we kill them? Uh, killing the pack? You would need a large hunting party for that. And even then, we would lose a lot of good men. No, but the villagers should be alerted and prepared. Sure, I'll make sure they are prepared. Okay, we talked to Sambor. Now I gotta go back and talk to Unigost. This is actually really cool up here, though. I like this. Now what is... Wait a minute, where did Sambor go? Now is he gonna go hunting again? Because that was actually really neat. Oh, 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 oh. No, I don't think he is. Here, we'll, we'll just... We'll just... Follow him. He's, he's gonna be like, Hey, bro. What are you doing, bro? <laughs> we'll leave him alone. Alright, let's go back and talk to Unighost. Okay, so... um, Let's get back to his... Oh, there's more clay. There's a lot of clay up here. Alright, so we know where to get clay if we ever need it. Holy moly! clay at Sambor's place. <laughs> he's got a nice little setup going here. Like, he's got a little his little cabin. Can we, make it, can we look inside? Oh, oh what is that? <gasps> That's a drying rack. That's probably for drying... Oh! <laughs> okay, 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 okay. What is that? That is a wolf. Oh. Okay. Okay. I'm injured. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, and I have two spears left. Holy moly. I broke two spears on that thing because I did a stab and I did the, uh, the lift. Okay. Let's, um, first of all, let's, um, let's uh, try this out. Um, Okay, that works quite well. So the broadleaf plantain is good for healing us. And the other thing I need to do is uh, I'm going to put this in my four slot. There we go. Okay. Four. Oh, actually, I don't even think I have to... Um, I don't remember having to, to brandish my knife in order to harvest before. Hmm, maybe I don't have to do that. But I'll still have it... I'll, I'll put it in a slot so I can brandish it menacingly. And like, you know, like scare people. Wow, that's freaky. That wolf spooked... I, I, I hope that wasn't his pet wolf, or I'm in trouble. Okay, so here's what we gotta do. We gotta go down... I'm gonna go down this route because this we, we, we came up this way. I'm gonna take this way down. So that means this way? Am I pointing in the right direction? Yes. Alright. And in point of fact, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna make myself a couple more spears. Because... Uh, I'm a little concerned about running out of spears if I get into trouble. Okay, let's pick up some logs here. Oh, maple branches. No. Okay. And then what we could do is we go Q this, this. Oh, wait a minute. No. About Q at... No. Um, Q, U, and then F. No. Uh, R. R. That's it. Okay. 
There we go. Make a couple of wooden spears. And then we'll have like a bunch of them sort of uh, stored up. All right, let's go. Oh, see? Oh, yeah, yeah. If I, uh... Yeah, you just have to tap E to get those. Okay, let's just take the path back. Man. That wolf freaked me out. He was, uh... He was very unhappy to see me. Oh. Why is it that in every game that I play, wolves are angry? And, and they want to chew on my uh, body parts. It's, I'm not really sure about that. That seems a little bit strange to me. Well, there's another one of those fences. That's really cool. Look at this. Oh. <gasps> oh is that a water skin? Uh... It is! It's a water skin! Oh, cool! There's something else over here. What is this? Coin? Uh, one coin? A qu a, qu a quaff? Quaff? What's this? An iron bowl? Oh, wow! Okay, we got... What is... I, th I saw something here. Oh, that was for chopping that tree down. Is there any more? Is there anything more over here? You know, I had a cart near my house, and all it had was um, uh, was a rock. Th I like this cart better. This cart has um, extra... F oh, there's a wheel! Well, that, th that means there's debris all the way down here. Okay. All right, so maybe I should be looking further afield. No, I think this is too far. All right, so where where are we? Okay, there's the thing. Is there any more goodies? <gasps> there is right there. Look at that. Iron bolt. Oh, that looks like something, but it's not. It's just a stick. A rock. Yes. Just what I always wanted. My own rock. <gasps> oh, broadleaf plantain. Very cool. Oh, this is really neat. It's like a little hidden treasure. Oh, that's awesome. Maple branches. Yeah, I'm not interested in maple branches right now, buddy. We've got important uh, scavenging to do. All right, I think that must be it. I don't really see anything else of, all, of any interest, so we'll have to take a look. I think we got a bunch of... Uh, we got a special hat, and we got ourselves some uh, bolts. I believe they were called bolts, so they must be for a crossbow, because that's, you know, crossbows use bolts. All right, that's cool. Awesome. Oh, that is really neat. So I guess somebody was cruising along here and they lost control of their cart and the cart went over the edge. That's very sad, actually. Let's keep moving. Now, the nice thing about this, this little fence here is I don't think animals would sneak up on you. But they could sneak up on me right here, so maybe we should be careful. And we'll grab another stick. That way, I feel more comfortable if I have another stick on me. It's, uh, it's like a safety thing, you know? Now, um, I believe... Is it over here... There's a big flat um, location. Oh, no, this is... Oh, I know. Hang on a minute. Let me take a look at the map. Yeah, see, I'm coming down near my house. Uh, this is where I was thinking of building. I, st I still think that this is potentially a good location for... Uh, thing. Like, the actual buildings would be down in that whole area there, and maybe some... It looks like you could also put some on this side of the road, along right here and stuff. I, I don't know. I, I still think it might be have some potential. But we are running out of daylight. Let's get back to uh, Unigos before uh, we run out of time. Uh, what I might do is... Oh, wait a minute. Hang on. Let me take a look. I am moderately filthy. So what we could do... Yes, you're exhausted. Here, go for a swim. Maybe you'll drown. Uh, don't do this, kids. <laughs> <laughs> don't go and go swim don't go swimming when you're exhausted it's not good for you but I will drink some water and uh, we'll have a uh, we'll have some of our roasted meat there we go and now we're at 60 and the flatbread gives 40 there we go let's move along and we still have 459 coins on us we're, we've got food I think we're doing just fine we're surviving, right? 
we're not, we're not, we're not like, uh, you know, min-maxing or anything like that, but we're doing pretty good. Except for the fact that this dude gets really exhausted quite quickly. I wonder if there's a skill for that. We'll have to we'll have to take a look and keep an eye out for that. Oh look, it's it's stuff. Is this? Oh, oh, but this is. Look at that, Saint John's Wort. <gasps> no, those are maple branches. Nah, let's just keep going. Nope. I know. I, j I should just use the second sight, but we'll, we'll I'll do that another time. Let's uh, let's get keep on track. It's getting dark. And I don't know when these guys go to bed. Oh, it's Unighost. Hi. Uh, so, what did Sambor say? Well, he, uh, well, he is a loner looking, lurking through the woods, but he knows the game around here, and he believes that both Gustovia and Denica will have to face a wolf attack soon. Oh. I was afraid it would be something like that. Well, here is your first reward. Courtesy of the last tax collection Sambor actually complied with <laughs> I don't what did he give me <laughs> um, okay what will you do uh, I will take care of defenses here in Gustovia but hey I need you to make sure Denica is prepared uh, prepared to go there and convince Dagobert 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 to build palisades okay um, they will be ready for anything I give you my word wow you're eager Okay, so Unighost's story continues. Uh, we have uh, go and talk to Dagobear. What's going on here? Uh, that's Mildrida. Hang on, Mildrida. Let me hang on, hang on, hang on. Twenty-five. Okay, okay. You're a little. Let's. Um, hey, do you have a minute? How's the job? I hope you're doing all right. Oh, she doesn't like talking about work. Oh, she doesn't like work. Okay, so she's fancy then. Uh, hey, do you have a minute? Uh, oh, sorry, no time for idle chit-chat right now. Oh, wow. Okay, I'll say goodbye. Yeah, no. Um, I do not get good feelings about life from her. All right, so we do have to go and talk to Dagobear. Now, he is... Whoa, he's all the way over here. Okay. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back. Um, we're going to deal with that. Oh... Somebody warned me that uh, side quests. Okay, I don't think that the side quests will get reset or you, you can fail them over a season. But I don't think this is a side quest. I think Unigo's story is probably a, a main quest. So I suspect I'm going to be fine. What I'm going to do is we're, we're almost at the end of our day. Uh, I'm going to head back to the base. And I'm going to do something that um, was suggested that I do. Uh, before I get to go too far, and that is uh, make a uh, wash tub so that I can destinkify myself and be a, a fine, presentable gentleman and set a good uh, a good impression. Because if I'm going to form a dynasty, I want people to respect me and to like me and to not want to plug their nose when I come around. That would be bad. <laughs> so <laughs> we're going to do that. Um, I don't know how to do it, but we're going to do that anyways. So let's take a look. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, right. Let's go to Q. And I'm assuming it would be... Is it other? Furniture? Wash tub. Okay, I need two logs. All right. Well, I just happen to have a little store of logs right here. I have three. And we could just... No, 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 no. Man, I'm gonna. T it's going to take me a minute to get used to the... Okay, there we go. Wash tub. Now, can I put it inside the house? Like good civilized folks? Indoor plumbing? No? Okay, I have to put it outside. All right, well... People had theirs in front of their house. Oh, let's see if I can find a place to put it that's a little bit uh, not so tilty. <gasps> not... See, there, that's perfect, but it's right in front of... <laughs> in front of the door. Oh, that's a good spot right there. Or maybe right here. Can I put it right here somewhere? I like that spot. That's a good spot. There we go. It's like, you know, out of the way a little bit. Now, can I... Oh, I can actually take a bath. Okay, let's do that. Oh, oh, it takes... Okay, I actually have to hold down E. Okay, look at that. Okay. Oh, we have to take a look at our inventory and stuff like that. Um, we're going to do that for the end of the day. 
There we go. And now we should be clean. There we go. Okay, good. Clean, not poisoned. There we go. All right, let's review our day. Okay. Um, we don't have any new skills because I wasn't really doing a lot of gathering or anything like that. That's fine. Um, oh, there's a diplomacy. Oh. A skill to determine how good you are in terms of conversation and bartering. Okay. We've got 32 out of 100. That's going to take a while to, to crank up. Um, I assume that um, this will go up as I try to chat up people, and uh, particularly the ladies. So we'll we'll have to keep an eye. Fishing. <gasps> so, oh, that's just survival. I, do, I dearly wish for fishing. Okay, now... Inventory. Let's take a look at what we got. Uh, we have a water skin. Now, do I? how do I use the water skin? Do I have to put it in one of my slots? How about we put it into uh, eight? And there we go. We'll put that into eight, and then we'll see how that works. Now, zero out of four. Is that four drinks? I'm assuming that means that I can take four drinks from it. Uh, we've got iron bolts. Now, iron bolts are uh, projectiles for crossbows. Uh, the strongest strongest type of arrow can be crafted in a smithy or bot okay all right we'll put those away we don't have a crossbow yet uh, i've got a backup axe and a stone axe i've got some spears i've got a stone knife and i think we're in good shape as far as uh, tools are concerned but i will put away the crossbow bolt so the iron bolt let's put that away oh no all of them uh f e f there we go there i put them away in my inventory all right, so clothing. I now have a coif. Uh, a simple linen coif can be crafted in sewing or bought. It gives you 10, plus 10 heat protection and plus 10 cold protection. Okay, how about I equip that? And then I can look more, even more like a fine gentleman. <gasps> oh, oh, look at that. That must be what the, um, I was given a reward. That's the, the uh, that's the reward that, that, um, uh, Unighost gave me fur boots and fur ho uh, for fur hood. That's for the winter. Oh, cool! The boots give thirty-five cold protection, but they they hurt you in the heat. So that makes sense. It's all sweaty and gross, but in the cold it will help you. Thirty-five and twenty-five for the hood. So good. We have clothing for the winter, so we should do fine in that respect. Um, okay. Uh, food. Oh, we have to cook our meat. So let's um, let's do this. Cooking, and how about our uh, R? That's gonna take a bit of getting used to. We're gonna cook all the meat. Well, I think you know. I think we did pretty good. Um, it's now nighttime. It's kind of dark. Tomorrow. Well, let's. How about oh? Uh, did what happened? Wait a minute. Did I not just cook all the food? I did roasted meats. Okay, let's let's uh, eat one and then two, and then it gives six, and I have five. There we go. We're at a hundred. Okay, so we've got that's our food situation. We have four flatbread, which is a fair amount, and uh, we're doing fine. And then we've got feather. We've got fur. Was that from the wolf? It must be from the wolf. Okay, we're gonna put that away. Uh. There we go. Let's put that away. Okay. And we have two logs. Let's We'll hold on to those for now. And, oh, and we have some feathers. Let's put the feathers away. And then we have uh, 459 coin. Okay. I think we're in good shape. So um, what I'm going to do tomorrow, of course, is we are going to take a look at the map. Uh, we're going to go and visit Denica. Denicha? Uh, it could be Lesnica, Lesnicha, Lesnica. I'm going to assume it's a K, not a Ch. So Denica. So let's go to, yeah, we're going to go to Denica tomorrow. We do have some other little markers here. I think those are potential quests, but I'm not going to take side quests until uh, we complete, until we've got some a couple of days to get them done, because apparently they do, you can fail them if you transition a season before completing them. That's my understanding. I don't have, uh, I believe that, you know, I have no reason not to believe it. So we are going to continue with our Unighost uh sort of task. We're going to go to uh, Denica uh, tomorrow, and we're going to warn them about wolves. 
and we'll see what uh, what it means when I when I promise to, with great gust passion to Unigos, saying uh, that I will help. I will make sure that their defense. What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> All right. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to sleep. And I'm going to pass through to, th to the next season because I want to make sure that this Unigo story, Talk to Dagobah, exists. Okay. Because this is going to end the season. There we go. Beginning of summer. Good morning, my neighbors. New quest, chapter two. Uh, complete some quests for the neighbors and do some successful flirting. All right. Well, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually... Um, I'm going to reset that to Unighost, <clears throat> and we're going to go talk to Dagobert. That was the, we're going to track that. But let's take a quick look at this. So we did finish the, uh, so it was survived for a season, um, but we've, uh, we've spent a talent point in any of the trees. Yes, we've done that already. Complete some quests for neighbors, so we'll deal with that. Successful flirting. Okay, I think we've already done that, but maybe I wasn't successful. Uh, and then 50 plus dynasty reputation for this uh, situation. And then once I complete this, I'll be able to have eight buildings. Because right now I think I can only have one. All right. This is a good place to stop. Thank you very much, everyone. Until next time, you all have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs> I do love the... Isn't it beautiful? Yeah. All right. Bye-bye.